All right, it's the very end of November, but it was 70 degrees yesterday, so I was able to go out and find a bunch of mud crabs, and I found a school of finger mullets as well. Beautiful day out here on the water. Let's see if we can find some fish. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go. are here today. This is the perfect eating size sheep's head in my opinion right here guys. Got plenty of meat on it. It's also not too big. See how big she is. Fifteen inches, yeah, we'll keep that one. Well, looks like today's gonna be fun. That was the first drop. See what I'm doing here, fishing this eddy behind the structure. It's flowing back this way. That's why I'm fishing this corner. It does different things different days. So you just kind of got to feel it out. Ooh. There's some bigger ones down there. Another thing I want you to notice too, I'm not fishing directly on the piling. I'm fishing five or six feet out and I'm also fishing directly on the bottom. These fish are just sitting down there waiting for stuff to flow out away from this structure on this incoming tide. Let's see. He's fifteen and three quarters. We're going to keep him too. I'm not going to keep too many today, but these are perfect size. Perfect size. Like twins in there.
Nice black drum. He is dark. He just come out of the river. fish. Perfect eating size. I'm just not going to keep too many today, guys. Got plenty of them in the freezer. And I've already got dinner, so I'm just fishing for fun now. And they are biting. I just got here. Drum. Oh, dang. Joker there. Well, it's high tide now. That was the first bite I've had in a couple hours. I, I don't know what's going on, but um, we'll see what happens when the tide changes. Tide. Is that, uh, sea urchin jawbreaker. I like that thing. Ooh, he's pure white. Some nice ones down here today. There's some nice ones. Keep this one. Just poop his guts out. Twenty-one and a quarter. That's a pretty fish. that leader that's a beautiful color I'm sure that's attracting their eye to it cool bring this one up a little slower maybe I'll He'll be all right. Yep. I'm 
right in the lip. Some pretty ones out here today. Oh yeah, it's good to go. And the water's still slack. There's school drum down there. You just never know what's gonna happen out here. Nice fish. All right. I like that too, it prevents them from swallowing the hook down. same size right, it's 12:45 slack tide Pretty little guy. Tide's just starting to fall. Let's see if it affects this bite. We had a really good school of fish in here. Let's see if they stick around. slow on the mullet today. Oh, we'll keep trying. I think this is sheep's head down there. Something's messing with me now. Got you that time. knew it little sheeps have been plaguing me down there that's a little better are you hung up Got you though. There's a bunch of them down there. Afraid there just ain't much size to them, but that's okay. black ground.
fish here. Yes, it does. the end of the bait. No way. Well, that was a fun day of fall fishing. The sheep's head were biting really good this morning. We had a, a little bit of a lull there before the high tide and then the black drum, I mean, awesome bite. Uh, pound for pound, one of the best fighting fish there is. Highly un underrated as far as food quality. They're awesome to eat and they are plentiful. I'm sure if I would have had fresh shrimp, I would have been able to catch just as many of those today. And that jawbreaker jig, um, if you guys haven't checked out 432 fishing jawbreaker jigs, check them out on Facebook and I'll, I'll uh, put the link there in the description. Um, awesome lures made right there in New Bern, North Carolina, uh, made by hand. So they're, they're quality quality lures but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time <laughs>